From the University of South Carolina, your news, your sports, your weather. Carolina News begins now. Hello and welcome to Carolina News. I'm Alan Devlin. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Delaney McPherson. More <laughs> details are emerging in the wake of the Texas church shooting. And many witnesses are starting to come forward about the day. CNN's Natasha Chen reports. Bo Bergdahl will avoid prison time in his 2009 desertion case. Bergdahl was dishonorably discharged and demoted from sergeant to private at the suggestion of the defense. The prosecution had recommended up to 14 years in prison for his crimes. He is also ordered to pay a fine of $1,000 of his monthly salary for the next 10 months. In his testimony this week, Bergdahl gave a surprise apology to the men who were injured in the dangerous search and rescue missions in attempts to find him. Bergdahl acknowledged that he committed a crime and that he should be punished for it. Yesterday, President Donald Trump's Twitter was deactivated for 11 minutes. As it turns out, a rogue Twitter customer support employee manually shut down the account on his or her last day. It's no secret that Trump is extremely active on Twitter, with over 36,000 tweets since 2009. Twitter says that no new information will be released about who the employee was or how they were able to get access to the account. But it didn't take long for Trump to go back to business as usual, tweeting about the new tax plan. Following Sunday's church shooting in Sutherland Springs, questions about gun control are once again being raised. The shooter illegally obtained the weapon he used in the attack. At a press conference earlier today, President Donald Trump was asked if he would consider any new gun control policies going forward. Trump answered by saying he was not planning on it and praised the armed individual who shot the gunman for preventing more casualties. President Trump continued his Asian tour today with a visit to South Korea. The visit comes at a time of heightened tensions between North Korea and the United States. Trump met with the South Korean president earlier today and they talked about possible solutions to the North Korea problem. Speaking at a joint press conference, Trump urged North Korea to consider making a deal to avoid military conflict. I really believe that it makes sense for North Korea to come to the table and to make a deal that's good for the people of North Korea and the people of the world. Trump's trip will continue with visits to China, Vietnam and the Philippines later in the week. Well, Delaney, it seems like the theme of the weather these past couple of weeks has been unpredictability. You know, it's South Carolina. You just never really know what you're going to get. But uh, hopefully Matt can help us out. So, Matt, what do you have for us for weather? Over 10,000 free tickets are being given away to active duty and veteran military members for a special screening of Universal Pictures' new movie. Thank you for your service. Over 400 AMC theaters across the country are participating in the early showing of the movie. It is based on the real story of a veteran suffering from PTSD and looks at the effects it has on veterans and their families. Miles Teller is the actor who plays veteran Adam Schumann. The movie premieres nationwide on Friday, October 28th. Harper's Restaurant in Five Points could be replaced by a popular fast food chain. The Five Points Association says Zaxby's is building a new restaurant on the same site Harper's used to own, which was zoned for fine dining only. Zaxby's applied for a zoning exemption with the City of Columbia to start building the fast food restaurant. Harper's closed its doors on April 18th after over 27 years of business in Five Points. The Board of Zoning Appeals will discuss the new Zaxby's location on December 12th. Well, Matt, I know Gamecock fans are still hurting over the loss from Clemson, but at least we have this bowl game to look forward to, right? Yeah, bowl games are always great here in Columbia. <laughs> have you ever dreamed of living the life of luxury like royalty? Well, now you can because there's a castle for sale in rural Pennsylvania. A newly built replica of a famous Spanish castle from the 15th century has a price tag worth a small kingdom. It's listed for $1.6 million. The castle overlooks a lake and 25 acres of land. So I think you guys know where you can visit me after graduation. You're all welcome to my new castle. Well, I don't have the money for that. <laughs> The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals and Wings of Rescue are teaming up to help animals in need. The groups are working together to help lend a hand to pets seeking shelter after Hurricane Maria. They hope to bring more than 50 animals left homeless by the hurricane to Florida. The animals will be housed in shelters across the state and will be put up for adoption later this month. President Trump announced today that he will not withdraw from the nuclear, Iran nuclear deal. The president will push Congress to put in new conditions so that the deal would work for both sides. 
one of the hardest push conditions is for Congress to rewrite the Iran Nuclear Agreement Review Act. U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson made a statement before Trump's speech saying that the president would no longer endorse the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action due to Iran benefiting from, more the, from the plan more than the U.S. The president said in his statement that Iran is not living up to the deal and that he will not stand for Iran's aggressive nature. I am announcing a new strategy to address the full range of Iran's destructive action. President Trump states that if Congress cannot come up with a new plan, he will terminate the Obama-made pact. This South Carolina mother is making her children internet sensations. Columbia native and USC alum Lauren Mankey has been making Halloween costumes since she was a child. Since she has become a mother, that passion has not subsided. She is now making costumes for her three children, which have become a hit with the help of her hashtag, Mankey Month of Costumes, and has even gained attention from People magazine. If you would like to see more of her pictures of her creative creations, check out Lauren's Instagram, at Lauren Mankey. That is so, so cute. <laughs> so cute. I think I saw some Bob's Burgers in there, and that makes me laugh. I love that. <laughs> The last major ISIS stronghold has been liberated from ISIS, according to the Syrian Defense Ministry. The eastern Syrian city of Deir Ezzor was the last major city under ISIS control. The Syrian army partnered with allied forces to rid the city of ISIS. Syrian government has considered the city more of a hub for ISIS than Raqqa. The seizure has given a major morale boost to the Russian-backed Syrian army, showing that it has gained the upper hand. This region holds economic importance because of its farmlands and oil fields. Well, Hannah, I feel like I've been getting whiplash with this weather. First, it's cold this week. Now it's hot. What's next week looking like? I know. I mean, we can't seem to decide. Do we need to wear sweaters? Do we need to wear tank tops? It's a little all over the place. But today, it is warm. The Legos tribute to the women of NASA is now the best-selling toy on Amazon. The women of NASA playset honors women who have played a vital role in the U.S. space program. It features astronaut Sally Ride and Mar Jemison, astronomer Nancy Grace Roman, and computer scientist Margaret Hamilton. MIT News Deputy Editor Maya Weinstock pitched the idea to LEGO and said that any product that lets girls see themselves in careers like this is important for children of all genders. As of Thursday night, the product was still available on the LEGO website. Good to see. I think that's just so sweet that they're finally, you know, getting women involved in STEM at such a young age. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I mean, I love having the girl Legos. I remember growing up, you know, we had the boy police officer and the boy fireman Legos. So, oh, I mean, goodness. getting some girl power in there. <laughs> I have two that. younger brothers. So, the worst thing was stepping on Legos that oh, were left oh, everywhere. <laughs> the death toll has increased to 47 since Thursday's explosion at a fireworks factory in Indonesia. In addition, dozens were also injured at, in the blast that occurred outside of the capital of Jakarta early this morning. Officials suspect the explosion was triggered by a fire in the electrical panel. Spoke, police spokesman Argo Yumono said 10 of the 103 workers believed to be inside the building are still missing. 10 fire trucks were sent out to the scene to put out the fire. The number of victims could rise as more details emerge. I mean, we're ready for fall, right? Yeah, oh, for sure. <laughs> it's fall, y'all. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right, that's all the time we have today. Thanks so much for being with us. See you tomorrow, and have a great week. Looks like good weather for Halloween, too, which I'm excited about. You know, it gives me some time to plan exactly. my Are you outfits. going trick-or-treating? I think I'm a little old, Jamie. Are you going to go trick-or-treating? I mean, I might, but... <laughs> I mean, why not? You know? I got a costume. Never too old. What's your costume? SpongeBob, Spongebob. of course. Amazing. Perfect for trick-or-treating, right? Bikini bottom. <laughs> Only if you have Patrick, though. So. I got to find him. Yeah, Patrick. <laughs> all right, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for watching. 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 Thanks